Okay, people. Yes, yes. Massive and crew. Let me get a bit of light on here. Maybe it'll help me. Yes, yes. Massive and crew. Back once again with another video. And today I'm going to do a little tutorial about how to load up a beat in Octomed. Um, a first, I've got my first uh, ever video of doing stuff on the Amiga. Um, I must admit, it's taken some time because I've been kind of rough uh, around the edges on it. I'm going to get myself a little pop shield uh, for for this mic. I'm really sorry about the you know the the popping going on in here. Um, need to get a little spit of sponge and put it over there. But I'll do that in some future tutorials. Uh, don't forget to donate to the channel. Help me get this thing together. All this equipment does cost me uh, money, and uh, do appreciate donations. Anyway, guys, uh, link in the description down below for that. Also, smash that like button and show some love. Um, yeah, so right here we've got my Amiga. I've up, I've loaded it up. It's got the WH load. Uh, for those of you who don't know, WH load is like where you get a little hard drive and stuff, and you put loads of uh, software on there. And I've loaded it up. I've got my ver my audio apps folder here, and as you can see. Um, in here, I've got quite a few versions of Octomed. I've got Octomed 4, 5, 6. Octomed 6, I think, believe the Octomed 6 I had was a demo. Uh, and to be honest, oh no, it's not actually a demo, I'll tell a lie. Uh, but to be fair, um, it's for me, I prefer Octomed 5. It seems to be have a little bit more to it. Um, I don't know what happened. Maybe Octomed 6 went down the drain and decided to call it a day. I don't know. But look, I'm going to click on this now. I'll say big up the man like Tejo Kinyanyan. If you're looking, mate, if you're still around, you know, big, you're big up to you, mate for making this program it's to it's changed my life man you know what i mean it's got me into music um and uh you know back in the day for those you don't know this is octomed octomed was one of the first ever programs uh music programs that i ever used um and uh i got this on the front cover of a magazine um and uh basically um it it, it is it was basically free and it allowed me to use samples now for those who don't know octomed is a futuristic program it's real futuristic and when i say it's futuristic it's the stuff you could do in octomed uh for the price that i paid for this computer i paid like 300 pounds for this uh, this computer back in the day and to be totally fair um that price uh, has held its value over all these years Octum um, the, the, you know i've seen and i've saw the other day a mint amiga uh online for sale that someone had stored in time capsule mode in the box for many years and it sold for double the price well it's going to sell for double the price a man wants 600 quid for it and it's immaculate i don't care i still got my you know my cigarette uh smoke uh, you know it's a bit yellow and whatever from people smoking and whatnot have you um but this one here is not my original mega i i bought this one and uh, i can't remember how much i paid for it this was uh, about a couple of years ago um but you know it wasn't anything like 600 but like i said this one when i bought it it came fully loaded with wh load and i just had to load octomed on there so as you can see i've got octomed loaded up and i'm going to load a sample so let's do, let's cut the waffle and let's get straight into it so first thing i'm going to do i've got my octomed loaded up as you can see there are tracks here all these are different tracks you know as you would in renoise same thing these parts here are effects now i am rusty on this because it's years since i've been doing it but as i've been doing the disc archiving i've been kind of refreshing my memory here in there so i'm able to actually do this now to bring you uh, my first tutorial so i'm going to go here i'm going to load instruments now obviously you're going to need samples you're going to need a sampler for Optimed, uh, you can get, uh, I believe it's called Soundmaster. There's a sampler program and there's a little add-on that you can get in the back. If you can find it, they're like Rockin' Horse Crap. And they allow you to digitize files on your Amiga. Failing that, uh, I'm going to be doing some packs soon for the Amiga um, that you guys can just um, literally download some breaks. And then you can put them on an SD card like this. Um compact flash sorry and stick it in the side of your amiga uh and that should load failing that uh there is also um this thing that you can get which is a compact flash reader you just pop that in there like that right and you pop it in and you can access it from your amiga all right so that's just giving you a heads up on how the hell you get files on this thing so anyway let's assume you've done all that then you'd go to games or go to games I go to here, I go to your folder where you've stored everything. This is where I go to, right? Go to games, I go library, and then in here I've got my a rough library that I've got put together, but I need to actually organize this properly. Um, but uh, for now, I'm just gonna show you. So I'm gonna grab a break, I'm gonna find a break here now. 
I believe there's one in here. Let's see what I can find. Uh, we got Blaps Break. Let me see. Uh, gonna find one. Okay, it's not that. Not that. Okay, keep going. Hardcore stabs. What we got? Do, 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 do. Oh, Fat Amen. Let's have a look at that. Fat Amen loop. Right, let's have a look at this one. Load, and then it will say IFF load. You load that. And then if you press on the keyboard. Okay, so I'm going to put this. I'm going to set the mixer up a bit about. Okay, so how I've got. This is how I've got my Amiga. We'll talk about sort of mixing. How we treat mixes and stuff on here later on but here you go as you can see when you press the keyboard when you press the keyboard yeah it actually uh, plays obviously and you use your keyboard on the Amiga as a keyboard forget about MIDI MIDI's uh, deep but you can buy a MIDI interface where you can connect all your stuff up to it that's if you want to do it sorry about this this bass business going on right so now you play the sample at the speed you want to use it at And once it sounds okay, as you can see, that that's that's looped up quite well, yeah. And, and it's it's more likely just looping constantly. No, okay, it's not looping constantly. All right, so great. So you put that on, and then okay. So then what you do on the function keys, right? Let me show you. You've got escape, which is turn edit on and off. You can see the little edit going on on and off there. Then you've got F F one, sorry F six. F, uh, F7, F8, F9, and F10. And that puts you on the 8s or the 4s on the block. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, next, you want to do block highlight. Uh, block highlight kind of shows you a little bit more where you're on the grid. If you if you like, um, you know, you can turn on a highlight every 4. And that kind of helps you. You know, in Cubase, you've got the little grids. But this is like Tracker's way of doing it. So you can kind of see where you are. You know, that's going to be in between the beat. That's on beat. That's off beat, right? So now... Let's get this going. So I'm going to put this in. Okay, so I'm going to put that in and then I'm going to go F6 Bosch, F7 Bosch, F8 Bosch, F9 Bosch, F10. Well, obviously you don't want F10 because that's right at the end of the bar. And then you press continue block and you listen to it. Now, as you can see, it's not at the right time yet. So we need to slow the sequencer down. Now we're getting to all the sequencer modes at the moment. This is, you've got two options. You've got BPM and you've got SPD. Now don't ask me the difference between the two. I, I, we, for the most part, we just used to use SPD because it was native to Optimed. Later on, I think they introduced uh, BPM. But what you do is you just move your SPD up and down until your sample sounds like it's looping. There you go. Okay, so it's not. Okay, so 24. There you go. So look, that's perfectly looping. Now, let's say you wanted it to be a bit faster than that. Let's get another scenario, right? So that's pretty much there. It's looping. And the most important thing is that you go into edit sample. Your sample's edited tight to the beginning of the break. Um, you can, you know, you can arrange, do cuts and stuff. You can play ranges. Uh... And I'm going to get into showing you how to cut that up in the next video. Right, so you can you can do your cuts and that, and you can suss out how that how that's done until the next video's up. But let's say I did that, and I get another break. Let me just do a, a, another one just to give you an idea. And then for for those of you who want a shortcut, uh, if you press uh, Amiga and I, which is the you've got white Amiga key and a black Amiga key, uh, you press the um, the the black uh, white Amiga key that opens up. Let me find a different break now. I'm going to try the same thing again. I'm going to find another break, man. That was too easy, man. Bloody hell. Uh, let's see. Um, but it is as easy as that, man. It's as easy as trimming your sample. I want to do one that's like a little bit more tricky. Uh, what's this? What we got? Uh, you, actually, there's a breaks thing here. There's a breaks uh, directory. I saw breaks five. I think I saw that. No, I'm really going to sort this out, guys. So, you know, sorry for this. It's just been archiving right now. Not actually, you know, arranging. Here we go. Danger man break. Let's try that, right? So I'm going to load that one. Same principle applies. Let me press play. Right, listen to that. Now, this time, we've got to go faster. So we speed up the SPD. Let 
Right, let's get this. Let's get the speed of the brake right first. Yeah, let's do something like that. Boom. So faster brake. F6, uh, F7, F8, F9, Bosch. And we're pressing, right? So boom. All right, so now let's get this right. Slow down the sequencer a bit. Right, if you hear, it's, it's got a glitch at the start, right? So let's get rid of that glitch. You go there, look, you can zoom in, right? And you could use this little thing here to move it along. You see that little crap you've got at the beginning of that? You don't need that, yeah? So you want to go to there, you want to go cut. These are the, this is what I want to show you, the kind of like advanced part to it. Right, there you go. So now it needs to be quicker. No metronome, guys. You can make your own through MIDI or even a cut sample and do this. It's all by, all by air. And then, just quickly, another little thing. You, you can go edit You can go edit instrument and you can fine tune it from here. So if you go into here, transpose, click that. And you can fine tune. So from there, you're good to go, peeps. You can... You can now start putting your keys in on E4. Press continue block. Here we go. You know one thing I notice about using Octomed versus um, using um, your traditional DAO? There's zero latency. I mean, when you play something, you feel it straight away. You see how that went in? There's no quantize, by the way. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. I'm going to show you other stuff. I want to show you, if you, you know, smash that like button if you want to see how to cut and edit your samples. I'm going to do other tutorials, advanced editing techniques. Uh, I'm going to do, you know, um, how to, you know, as it, as it comes along. I've got all, you know, if you want to see more videos about the Amiga, please comment down below and share this video with a friend who is interested in old school jungle music production. That's it for today's video. Take care. God bless. Peace.